Aloha everyone, what's up? Braddock Cahoots is back and welcome to the next video on the channel. In this one, we're going up against the Morioka Morpecos, who is coached by Don Chow in our week 8 match of the DTC Season 3. I'm super, super excited about this match. Hope you guys are ready for it too. So let's take a deep dive into what our opponent could be bringing. So, they have access to Tapu Lele. Kiram White, Hydreigon, Cobalion, Darmanitan, Tentacruel, Shuckle Wuckle, Licky Licky, Rotom Fan, Swelo, and Frostlass. So this is a very interesting team. Like, it's really good, honestly. There's a lot of good synergy here. Um, a lot, there are so many scary mons, dude. Like, Swelo's scary, Darmanitan's scary, the top three is scary, Cobalion. Like, we cannot sleep on this team. So what do I think they're going to be bringing? Well, in my research, they've always brought the Tapu Lele, the Kiram White, the Hydreigon, the Shuckle, the Rotom Fan, and the 6th slot has always been... The 5th and 6th usually been, like, up in the air. Um, Tapu Lele, Kiram White, Hydreigon, and Shuckle is usually their core. Looking at uh, my team, I definitely think Rotom Fan could be an option. I do have, uh, you know, they could be seeing the the Rayquaza be a decent match against the Rayquaza, maybe. Um, the if I bring Chestnut, it's a pretty bad matchup against Chestnut for sure. Um, however, I do have a whole Crookdale, Charizard, and a Metagross, so they might be thinking uh, twice on bringing that. Swelo could be a good option here. I don't necessarily enjoy the Swelo matchup. Boom Burst just kind of. It's irritating to deal with. Um, yeah, stab, stab, boom, burst with uh, with the choice specs. Ugh, it's disgusting. Um, Tapu Lele, Tapu Lele is usually is usually pretty good. Um, it's usually just a, a, an attacker, a straight up attacker on their team. Um, Shuckle is usually what they start off with. If they don't start off with Rotom Fan, they usually start off with Shuckle. Um, so we'll, we'll, we'll try and play around with that. Um, definitely bringing Tapu Lele, Kiram, White, Hydreigon, and Shuckle. I don't think they're going to bring the Licky Licky and Frostlass. Because they don't really use them much. Although I could see them bringing the Frostlass. It's a decent matchup against my team. Um, we all know that Frostlass is... is with, with the hacks ability that Frostlass has... You know, there's a lot of potential there. Um, however, I think they might go for more aggro. So I'm going to think that they are bringing the Cobalion or the Swelo on top of the Tapuleta, Kiram, Hydreigon, Shuckle, Rotom. So either Cobalion or Swelo. Uh, I could see Tentacruel being swapped out um, for the... A shuckle because they do kind of the same thing as like a setup mon um, but ten tentacruel itself is kind of scary it's real bulky it's really fast for no reason um, but they really enjoy shuckle so they're probably gonna bring shuckle and we have a mon for that so without further ado let's jump into our team builder so up first the Pokemon that we are bringing for the week 8 DTC season 3 it's you already know it's misty Mimikyu is coming back with a vengeance, mind you. I don't know why with avenging with, but it's coming back with it. Um, <laughs> play rough, shadow sneak, so substitute, swords dance, discover, uh, disguise, and leftovers. So we are doing the substitute shut up, set up Mimikyu. Um, just because I want to. You know, Mimikyu puts in a lot of work. Um, either way we play it, I'm super excited to, to bring it out. This gives us a little more sweeping potential. Um, if we can set up safely behind a sub, um, can I just go in on their entire team? It's really, really cool. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. That's basically my whole thought process on it. I really enjoy Mimikyu. Mimikyu is the MVP of our squad so far. But, trailing behind, but not far behind, mind you, is our next, is our next, uh, Pokemon we're bringing for week 8. It's your boy Bakugo. Bakugo is coming again for another week. Um, you gotta love it. I enjoy Bakugo. He is a 
Powerhouse, non uh, for sure. Outrage, Earthquake, Shadow Claw, Thunder Punch. Um, Tough Claw's ability, because of course. Max Attack, Max Speed. So we're running this specifically to deal with... Like, it deals with a lot of his mons. Earthquake takes care of the Tentacruel, the Darmanitan, the Shuckle, um, the Frostlass. Thunder Punch takes care of the, takes care of the Rotom Fan, the Swalo. Um, Outrage for the Kiram and the Hydreigon. Then we have Earthquake for everything else. Um, is that right? Oh, sh Shadow Claw for the Frost Lass. There you go. Easy. Um, I think that's the only thing I'm bringing Shadow Claw for. I'm pretty sure. I couldn't think. So I made this team a week ago with Q. Um, I, I made it and Q and I tested it. Um, I don't know why I have Shadow Claw in there other than for the Frost Lass. Uh, it might be just for the Frost Lass. I'm not going to uh, debate. Uh, Kahoots a week ago, so we're gonna keep it. <laughs> but um, all right, moving on. So the third member that we're bringing to the match is Metagross. Meta the Metagross coming back again. Meteor Mash, Earthquake, Bullet Punch, Ice Punch with a Choice Band. Going in a little more offensive, um, just the way we like it. Got him enough HP to get 361, like in those odd numbers. Um. Max attack, 16 defense, because just in case, we did... It does give us that threshold of 300 defense, which is really, really nice. Um, a lot of his team is physical attackers, so either the Kyurem, the Cobalion, the, Der the Dermanitan, Licky Licky, Tentacruel. Um, a, lot of them are, a lot of them are physical, so, you know, it helps. <sighs> Rocking the Choice Ban, because, you know, it's been putting in a... Like, choice Ban Metagross has been a lot more work than a Weakness Policy Metagross lately. So... There we go. So, up next, it's Makani, the Rayquaza, coming back again. Yes, you know it, you love it. So, this one, is, we did a little more calcing. Uh, we have 252 in attack, because we're, we're, run, we're running physical Rayquaza. We have 120 in speed, because we're also choice scarfing this thing. So, with the 120 in speed, we're able to outspeed an unscarfed Swelo. Now, why did we set it up like this? Um, because I believe if he scarfs Kiram White, we're, we're slower anyway. So we decided to go this way. If he's not, if they're not scarfed Kiram White, we we win. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But basically, it's really really good here. We put one. We put 80 into HP, just again that three, uh, the 371 threshold, and we threw the rest into special defense, because the rest of his team is pretty specially offensive. Um, I'm hoping this goes in. I really, really have a good feeling about this about Rayquaza. I'm really hoping um, we can get some shenanigans off on it. Outrage is here to deal with the Kyurem, the Hydreigon, uh, Rock Slice to deal with the Swelo, the Rotom Fan, the Darmanitan. Um, yeah, Earthquake for the Cobalion, Shuckle, and then the Iron Heads for the Tapu, Tapu Lele, of course. Um, Earthquake can also go in on, on Frost Slash, which is fine. I like it, I like it. Um, in case they want to bring some kind of like, I don't know. I don't know what they want to bring for this. I just have to play it correctly, and we should be okay. Um, moving on. The next mod that we're going uh, bringing is James the Crocodile. So, another mod that we specifically EV'd. So we put 144 into speed because it's the exact same reason. It outspeeds unscarfed max speed max attack sway uh, max speed. Yeah, max speed beneficial speed swelo. Um, and nothing else. Basically, it, it outspeeds everything at this point as long as nothing's scarfed. Um, something probably will be scarfed, but I'm expecting it probably be the Kieran White. So, there we go. Um, we got a... Uh, 80 in HP, giving a 351 threshold, 252 in attack. Very similar to Rayquaza, 252 into attack. Now, you put the 70, 70, um, so 32 into special defense. Because when I was calcing, I believe this allows us to survive a boom burst from swelo and our i think knockoff i think knockoff uh 
two, uh, two hit KOs it. So that's why we're bringing this. Um, this should put in all the work. I'm really, really hopeful about it. We're rocking Intimidate. Uh, just in case we need to swap in and out of it. Definitely will be helpful against the Darmanitan, the Cobalion, um, the Licky Licky, and the Kiram White, and the Tentacruel. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's about it. Um, and the last but not least, the Pokemon that's rounding off the team for this week is Charlie the Mr. Rhyme. I'm really excited to be bringing Mr. Rhyme in this in this week's match. So, I've noticed, I've, I'm sure some of you have also noticed, that Don Chao really enjoys to lead Shuckle to get the sticky webs up. And with the amount of speed that my team has naturally, I'm sure he wants he wants that up. So what we have for that as a contingency is Magic Coat. So we're planning on leading Charlie, Magic Coating um, if the Shuck goes in uh, right off the bat to, to shoot it back to him, and then switching into Meta uh, or Meta or Misty honestly to try and start setting up um, or go for the free damage. We'll find out. Um, Shadow Ball, Freeze Dry, Rapid Spin. It's really here to help with the. Just rounding out the team, Shadow Ball really hits the Frostlass, the Tapu Lele. Uh, does decently on the Rotom Fan. Freeze Dries for the Swelo and the Tentacruel and these two dragons. Um, but yeah, I think it's going to put in a lot of work. I'm really, really excited about it. Hey, I didn't forget any mons in the layout this time. Let's go. First week, one out of eight. The first time I didn't forget, forget a mon. <laughs> um... But yeah, I can't really think of anything else. Uh, predictions, I guess. I predict it's going to be a really great match. I know that I have some concerns with how they run the Kiram White and Tapu Lele is always really scary. Hydreigon is usually Specs, I believe. Um, Specs are Scarfed. I don't really see him running a lot of other things. Shuku has always been either Mental Herb or Red Card, I believe. So we're going to be we're watching out for that for sure. But yeah, I think it's going to be really, really good. I don't think it's any... It's going to be a real concern for us for, for at, at all. Right off the bat. Um, I like it. I think it's a great... I think it's great. Um, I'm excited to get into the match. All right, everyone. So we are here in the match. Okay, so they brought the Cobalion, the Rotom Fan, the Shuckle Wuckle, the... The Swelo, the uh, Hydreigon, and the Kiram White did not bring the the Tapu Lele. Did it bring Tapu Lele? Oh my goodness! I am so confused about that. They brought Swelo into Tapu Lele, and the Cobalion could have been either or. But I definitely still think they lead Shuckle. Definitely still think they lead Shuckle. Um. Good luck, have fun. Okay. So let's jump right into this. I'm going on Charlie. Uh, pretty sure they lead Shuckle. What else would you lead? Leads the Shuckle. Clicking Mirror Coat. Clicking Mirror Coat. The sticky webs, okay, goes right off for a knockoff. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we revealed we're magico, which is unfortunate. Um, which is unfortunate. Okay, so he probably knocks off again. Right, he probably knocks off here again. So what I'm gonna do... That, that's really hard. Now, what does he do? Um... Okay, so I really wanna scout this. I wanna think he goes for sticky webs here. 
22. He goes right onto Suelo. Okay, I I could have definitely could have had something there. He probably boom bursts here. Okay. U turns into what? That Okay, so we it's not banded cuz that that didn't look like band damage to me. It might be specs. Okay. I want to think he goes for a fighting type move here. Okay, he doesn't get webs up. Uh, he probably goes for a fighting type move here. What else? He can go for a steel type move. Let's see, how much does a Balion? Uh, let's try this one. Due to a Mr. Rhyme. So Ironhead does a lot, actually. Ironhead does more than close combat, so he probably Ironheads here. If that's the case... Stone Edges, that's fine. Get a little bit of a pivot back. Um, I want to say he switches into Swaylo, predicting the Earthquake. I definitely think he sees an Earthquake coming. Does not see an Ice Punch coming. Okay. But let me go back to the Valion. Meteor Mash does the most. I'm gonna wait for a meteor mash here. It's a Rotom fan. That's fine. That's fine. I should have ice punched. I I, I totally totally should have ice punched. Cause I guarantee he wisps here. Either either way, he either wisps or paralyzes me. I should only think he's gonna do. Whisper Para, Whisper Para. Um, he's usually been paraing, so I'm gonna go on for a for a for a. I think he's gonna para. He does go for the para. We read that correctly. That's perfect. Um, I think he switches here. I'm pretty sure he switches here. And I'm gonna stealth rock. Yep, get the stealth rocks up. Definitely goes for a fighting type move here. Actually, wait, he could go for a steal. How much does a... He's probably banded, honestly. I think he's banded. Um, based on the damage that he did to me prior. But let's go and see... So he definitely goes for a fighting type move here because close combat. Yep. Got that red. He's locked into this. So what we're going to do, we're going to sub. He misses the thunder wave. Let's go. You love to see it. You love to see it. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. So if I sub here, he's going to Iron Head. Bolt switches. Okay. Okay. It doesn't break. Doesn't break. That's perfect. Goes into Shuckle. That's fine. 
We're going to set up a bit. Goes for a knockoff. That's fine. I'm going to sub and see if knockoff kills from... Goes for stealth rocks. That's fine. Let's get a... Mimikyu at plus four does what to Shuckle? Does a lot. Does plus six do to Shuckle? Pretty much Okos. Alright, plus six. Rotom fan. Shadow sneak kills. Got the creep with the shadow sneak. You love to see it. Valion. Okay. This kills. Here, um. Ah, here, I'm white. Okay. We knew we lived that. That's great. Probably goes for a U turn here. Probably goes right for a U turn here. Because I think the other move he has is Boom Burst. Um. Uh, Swelo. Oh wait, it's Scrappy. Okay, no, yeah, it definitely goes for a Boom Burst. So we go into... Okay, well, that's fine. Versus a Hydreigon. Substitutes. Okay, that's fine. We're not gonna let it set up. Just click clicking ice punches. Z powers. Okay. We live the devastating Drake. Get the get get out of here. Okay. Swelo here again. Um definitely don't wanna risk that. What does he do here? Swelo is his last mon. We could get the 6-0. How do we preserve the 6-0? How do we preserve the 6-0? Um, Rayquaza? Boomers does a lot of damage to Rayquaza. But I think that's how we do it. Hurricane. That's fine. We know we're faster. We know we're faster. And we know that... Outrage kills. GG. Amazing game. There you go, folks. We got our 6-0. Mimikyu cleans up like the champion it is. Thank you for coming out uh don chow poketsu raging lust amazing game um i hope you guys enjoyed it uh, i will talk about the match in a bit 
Um, whew, I'm just coming. Oh my god. All right. See you guys in a bit. So we are here after the match. We are joined by Q the Costa Rican, who was a spectator on the match. Since Don Chow unfortunately cannot do an interview. Dude, I can't believe that happened. Bro, I believe it one thousand percent. So I want to tell you when I, when when I saw when um what happened. Yeah. So when you had, when it was Crocodile versus Cobalion, right? Mm -hmm. I was sitting there. I was I was screaming at my computer screen. I was like, "Yo, cahoots! Just go hard Mimikyu for literally no reason." Even though Metagross is the switch in 100% of the time, just go hard Mimikyu because you know he's going for close combat. There's no other move to go for. It. Just go for it, and you went for it. And I was like, "Oh my god, this man!" Dude. But then he had Thunder Wave, and I was like, "Yo, that Thunder Wave could could be dire." And then he missed, and I was like, "Oh no, the sub is going up." <laughs> Mimikyu's double subbed up. The only thing. Like, you still got the 6-0, so it didn't matter. But the only thing I was thinking about was, like, what? On the turn that, like, he U-turned out of there, you still had, like, Mimikyu's natural disguise up. Right. So, I, like, you were still going to at least get one kill if you clicked play rough. That's fair. But, like, it still worked out. Like, it doesn't matter. It still worked out. <laughs> yeah, I was... Very well played. Thank you, thank you. I was um a little worried that... uh. That I didn't have enough health for the disguise to work. I, I I was just I was at fourteen, but I could be at thirteen, and it takes twelve. So I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was too close to call. Yeah, so, I think you would have lived on one percent and still got a KO. But do, bro, you're putting in so much work with Mimikyu. It's honestly wild. Bro, I'm so happy it worked. It worked out just as planned too. Um, unfortunately, we didn't get the sticky webs thing, but I'm really glad we were able to scare him off of the sticky webs. Yeah, yeah. Turn one, like basically, basically just clicking magic code twice made you th made you made made you tell him, made him realize that like, yo, I do not care about this, uh, Mister Rhyme. He just he, he's just here to, to combat sticky webs. So like, I'm clicking magic code every time. <laughs> so yeah, that was that was that was actually pretty good. Even though it didn't work, it still worked. Mm -hmm. Right. These these strats that we come up with that does that doesn't work the way we planned it, but still works out in amazing ways. You love to see it. Yeah. Yeah, that Mimikyu really worked out for sure. Dude, I don't know. I, was Mimikyu, Mimikyu was at a 9-1, and one, and now it got 4 kills, so it's at 13-1. That's a 12... That's a, that's a 12 point differential. This is. This is. That is true. That's this wild, is true. dude. I'm right behind the kill leader. If, with a Mimikyu... Uh, let me peep. Let me peep. Let me peep. Right now, at the time of this... Oh, bro, no. You're, you're at the top. You're, you had 16 kills. They just changed it. What? Yeah, 16 kills, 2 deaths, with a differential of 14. Dude, let's go. Let's go, dude. Mimikyu is now, in, on a week 8, the kill leader of the DTC Season 3 um, B, right? B League, League, yeah, B League. I believe, that was, I believe that was all the matches, too. So, yeah, like that's, that's, that's it. It's right there. Dude. That, that, that bumped you up to number 2 in the Sun Division. Dude, let's go. Dude, let's I'm go, dude. so hyped about that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and then who you gotta fight next week you fight uh new who is mero who's yeah, the, new the new guy the new guy yeah the new guy the new guy that metamech just just won against so yeah man that should be good again i'm going up against someone who i only have one match to prep against though <laughs> yeah this is true it'd be like that sometimes all right but now let's uh, i think we can talk about a little more about the match though it's like i was the amount of reads that I was able to put into this was crazy, dude. Oh, for sure. It's almost as if you played this battle like five times already. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, 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 like, after seeing, like, Cobalion in this match, like, it had a amazing speed tier against you, which I never even peeped, like, before, like, when we were prepping for this. Mm -hmm. Like, I didn't even realize that, like, Cobalion is mad fast. I just did not think he was going to bring it because it just did bad against most of your guys. Oh, no, dude. I mean, if I wasn't plus four Mimikyu, I wasn't going to owe Coco Balion. Well, yeah, no. And, and if he didn't miss his Thunder Wave, like, you probably, like, you might have you might have had some bad RNG in there. And, like, yeah. your sub definitely would have got broken by, like, Kiram. Yeah. But. Expertly predicted the sub Hydreigon, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I was all like, he's bringing, he's bringing a sub Hydreigon. I don't know why, but he's doing it. I mean, yeah, dude. I've seen him bring sub Hydreigon, like, three times. It's the whole reason I have Ice Punch on Metagross. It's and I think he was, and, uh, he was either again. Scarf or Specs Swallow. Probably Specs. Uh, he was Specs, because he was definitely not Scarfed. I did plan for that. Okay. I think, wait, no, he did multiple? He did U-Turn and Hurricane, but U-Turn is on a Specs build, because no, just yeah, for no, moment. No, so that's why, that's why um, when he did U-Turn, uh, I, I was on something that I knew I would 
I went first, and if I some he did, I went first on, on Suelo, and I, if I knew he wasn't Scarf after that, because I was Scarf or something. I think it was okay, yeah, so, oh, no, yeah, I think we're crazy. Something find out. So, we could find out. We could find out. So I knew he wasn't. Um, I knew he wasn't scarfed. I knew he wasn't banded because that U-turn was not banded damage. Right, so banded would have been a whole non-set because like flame orb is just always better. It does the same thing, and you don't you're not locked in. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, man, no, that was that was that was a great match. Your first six zero of uh of your uh, what battling career, right? Yeah, exactly. My entire battling career. Pretty lit. Yeah, I mean, whew, I'm so I'm so ecstatic about it, bro. Honestly, like this 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 uh, interview portion is that I would have had with Danja would have been kind of. I don't know how it would have went if they were actually. Would just would just been you yelling at him, <laughs> like, "Did you see that game?" <laughs> Pretty much, that's all I can imagine. Yeah, dude, and I was glad we were able to do it early too. Like, I just oh, finished, yeah. I just finished doing the team builder, and he hit me up. That was really really in, nice. In one game, you jumped from sixth to to, to fourth Let's overall. Go. Let's go. Pretty lit. Now, if this match doesn't make it onto the, <laughs> I'm saying this guy hates me. If this match doesn't make it, yeah, no, probably like Loki, <laughs> like probably. Which is funny because I already, my weekend match was pretty lit too. It wasn't a six zero, but like it was, it was still pretty like high octane in terms of like ending quickly. Mm -hmm. And this was like yeah, twenty two turns. My I think mine was like about twenty two turns or something like that. But like, turns, so, like dude, it felt like fifty. So, really it happened so quickly like i, I like I, I i when i tell you i was screaming cahoots go hard mimic you you can do it and like for no reason i just i just wanted you to do it and you did it i was like i was like oh my god did he somehow hear me through the airwaves bro so linked i'm telling you it was so linked man i i swear i was just like bro just please go hard mimic you you know it you know he's gonna you know he's close <laughs> combat yeah oh, it was dude. so good love it you love to see it i'm so happy about this bro Okay, this well, man put a wheelchair emoji in the chat. Okay. That's <laughs> rough. Thick meme. Is that the new guy? Is that one of the I have no guys? clue. I have no clue who that is, to be honest. Oof, I just want I just want to go down the turns, bro. Like this match was in, was wild. Turn 1. I I'm really glad I we 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 decided to go with magical uh Mr. Rhyme because it really did scare him off. Yeah, like like even though it didn't work turn 1 cuz he predicted it and mm -hmm. he knocked off, like even so you were stubborn and clicked it turn 2. Which showed him that you just like like you yo I'm doing this you're not getting those up you know what I mean, and then uh then Swallow just went for momentum in my opinion Swallow should have just started going for boom burst but what do I know I agree like I was what I was super worried about if Swallow boom burst I'm in a really bad spot here yeah uh, but, but then he hard you turn. turn I'm like okay <laughs> did like did a lot to Charlie though almost like half its HP yeah it, it did a good amount of Charlie. Um, but then, yeah, once you saw that Stone Edge damage on Metagross with Cobalion, I was like, oh, yeah, Metagross is always a switch in. And then two turns later, I was like, no, nah, bro, don't go Metagross. Go hard in Mimikyu. He knows you're going Metagross. Yeah, bro. He's going to both switch. <laughs> it was so I, I, was, I was so ready for it. Um, like, I was, I was looking at this thing. I was like, I, I was running the calcs. I was like, okay, so in the Cobalion, um, he's definitely expecting Metagross here. I was in a crocodile too, so he was. So he's definitely going to hit close combat because I have a crocodile, and he's expecting yeah. to be. Uh, There's Metagross. literally no other move for him to use. Like Stone Edge ain't doing nothing. Volt Switch is immune. So like, mm -hmm. I'm surprised he didn't stay in with Cobalion when I was setting up with Mimikyu. He decided to hard he didn't, switch. He, he didn't have Iron Head. He didn't that's why. have Iron Head. Yeah, that's why. Oh, I didn't even notice. Yeah, you're right. He had Volt Switch, T Wave. Um, I'm I like honestly, I was really surprised that no, I shouldn't be. Oh, it's Volt switch was for the Volt switch was definitely for the Zard and the Rayquaza. Mm -hmm. So he, he thought he could like stay in on them. Right. I'm pretty sure Cobalion does naturally outspeed. They uh, outspeeds both. Charizard. Absolutely. Yeah. So like Cobalion's 108, Charizard's 100, and Rayquaza's like 95. Yeah. So that was what that was for. He just didn't first see the Mimikyu being a problem because he thought he was going to be able to T wave it. Mm -hmm. Dude, I'm so happy because what what was it? He when he went the turn five when I was in on Metagross, I think, and he yeah. switched into Rotom Fan. Um, he was 
I knew he was going for T Wave because he always goes for T Wave. Like in oh, his matches, he? whenever the first turn Rodon Fan jumps in, he always T Waves. So I knew. So I switched hard swapped, and it worked out perfectly, dude. Yeah, and that road, I don't think that was even bulky road him because it took like 39% from Meteor Mash. Like, you, you weren't banded, were you? I was. Oh, yeah, you were banded. I okay. was banded. Well, then that was about to say, that was, I was like, that did some damage. No way that road was bulky. Yeah, it probably was. It probably was. I'm just banded. I was prepping for that, too. Um, I'm wild. really glad I was able to get the rocks up because that really did help chip away some, some, uh, some points. Yeah, it, it did like most of the damage to Swallow. Mm hmm. Which stopped it from winning. So Dude, I'm, um, I'm so happy Mimikyu lived um, that uh, what, what, that flash cannon from Kirim. Yeah, no, that was clutch. From that, Fool, was doing, that was clutch. I was doing the calcs, um, off, uh, and uh, if he was fully invested in the special attack, um, it, 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 it was definitely going to kill me. So he definitely was not. He was physical Kirim, right? He had to be, because... Well, he used flash cannon. There's no way he was physical Kirim. Okay, but the no, he was that... scarf. Scarfed. Yeah, he was scarf. He outsped you. Right. So what that's what it was. He was Mike a scarf of Kirim. My mimic. I want to do that calc again. Then what did I do wrong? Flash cannon. Oh, yeah. okay. Near flash cannon. Mimikyu. Yeah, if he's fully invested in the special attack, flash cannon Okos. I don't know what happened. What happened there? Did I live the no, not amount? the calc, not the calc I have. Calc I have says eighty-one to ninety-six. Oh, I have specs. Yeah, timid scarf. Got you, scarf. Yeah, bro. Yeah, you from fool. You have a you have a chance to live. That was the problem. I I I I calc'd it with specs, not scarf. Well, I mean, you always live from fool, and you're a plus six play rough, which always did three hundred percent. Yeah. I was, yeah, so. Bro. I can't believe Mimikyu did that, though. Like, yo, I was, like, low-key, I'm not gonna, not gonna lie. When I was prepping for this game off-screen, I went right into the um, Uber matches, and I fought, like, five to six trainers with the Shuckle. <laughs> nice. That's actually funny. Right? <laughs> <laughs> That's actually hilarious. So I knew all of the things that, that Shuckle could be doing, and I know Mimikyu is always the answer to set up on Shuckle. So when he switched in the shuckle, I was like, it's time, boys. It's time. <laughs> ah, gotta love it. All right. Well. <clears throat> oh, I, I gotta fight the new guy, too. That's pretty crazy. So you're last week? Yeah, he's my last week. Nice. Then I gotta fight this guy next week. Or nice. this week, or however. Dude, yeah, the, the Cobalion missing T-Wave probably was the most clutch the most clutch in this game. It definitely secured me the 6-0. For sure. Because you wouldn't have been able to outspeed like half the guys that you outsped. Mm -hmm. um, actually, no, everyone... Actually, it only would have affected you with the Rotom. Because you already outsped everyone else. Didn't I... I mean, everyone else already outsped you besides like Rotom and Shuckle. I shadow but... sneaked the Rotom, didn't I? Exactly, yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Like, it wouldn't have... Like, if you got would have got the T.O. on you, the only thing that would have sucked is the RNG of getting fully paralyzed. Mm. Otherwise, that still happens the same way. Yeah. Like, like I said, it's a 50% chance to get fully paralyzed. Yeah, that would have sucked, dude. That definitely would have made my life a little harder. <sighs> Alright. <clears throat> uh, going in here. You guys saw what happened. I don't really have to go through everything else. Really, really good game, Don Chow. I think it's about time we... Hop on out of here. But uh, thank you, Q, for coming, helping me uh, talk through this because I'm still amped as hell. Yeah, no problem, dude. It's a good match. <clears throat> Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe down below. Let me know what you guys thought of the match. Get, let me see Mimikyu, Mimikyu hype in the chat. But with that, oh, we oh, see you in the next video. Shoots.